Hey everyone. Um, so just to have some fun, I thought I'd show you a Magic: The Gathering Arena. So this is a uh, a game that you have to install and download. So it is actually um, available for Macs and PCs, and it is free. It's free to play. Um, you can buy different things in the game and stuff. But uh, I'll just kind of show you what the basics are and play a couple games and uh, see what you think. Let's get myself out of the way here. So um, what this works on basically is is like um, it's a card game. So you're building a deck of cards and you're playing with a deck of cards. And I'll just like I'll show you uh, like look so you can build all these in here and you get certain cards to start with and you get more as you go along and stuff like that. Um, but I just want to show you a couple of cards and show you what they look like and um, what they do and that kind of junk. Um, there are five different colors and <clears throat> the colors just depend on like how you pay for things. So one of the one of the main categories of cards is lands. Um, this right here is a land. Um, this is a mountain and um, it is red. The forest is green. So each land has a different color. Um, and, and lands are what you use to pay for the other cards. Um, if you notice on a card like this guy right here, this gem razor, in the top right corner, he has there's a three and a green, which is like that's how much it's going to cost for you to play this card. Um, so it, it has in the top corner, it has how much it costs. In the middle there, it says creature beast. It tells you what the card is. Um, and then in the box, it's going to give you all the special rules that go with that card. And I won't go into all that stuff, but I'll show you a few of them. And then in the bottom right, if it's a creature, which is what this is, it has two numbers. It is its power, how much damage it deals, and its toughness, how much damage it can take before it dies. Um, so that's for the for the fighting part. The creatures do the fighting. Um, so that's one of the kinds of this one of the other kinds of cards. There's lands. There's creatures. There are enchantments, which is if you look at this right here, see this one has still has a cost in the corner to play it. Um, and it's a, an enchantment, and, and it, each enchantment tells you what the rules of that thing does. But it's not a creature, you're not attacking with it. Um, sometimes enchantments attach to creatures. This one you can say, it says creature spells can be countered, and non-token creatures you have control have riot. So it just gives you more rules for the game when this is in play. Um, so we've got lands, we've got creatures, we've got enchantments, and we've got... Um, let, me sell, let me see if I've got one in here. Um, a sorcery spell, right? So this is just like an action that you play. Um, this one you can still see it has the cost in the corner and it tells you what to do. And so this card, it doesn't stick around. It's like you just play it, it does its thing and then it is off to your discard pile. And like those are the basic card types. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting some, right? Uh, the whole point of this game is there's a few core rules but then all the different cards bring in brand new rules and kind of uh, figuring out like the best interactions of those rules together. That's how you end up playing a game. So I'm going to take this deck right here, which you can see has a bunch of greens and a bunch of reds. Um, it's some cool things like this card has two different options. Um, so depending on what you're doing, uh, you can either pay two to do the collision or you can pay two to do the Colossus. And, um, so, but I'll just kind of talk you through a little bit of that in an actual game. The first thing I'm going to do is go to a game that is um, just with the computer. So that like nobody's waiting on me because you actually do play against other people. Um, so I'm going to do this. Oops, what did I do? My bad. Oh, I'm going to hit the play button instead. There we go. So the general rules are on your turn, you can play one land. And then you can play whatever cards you can afford after that. So you can only um, get one. And then you get one card at the top of every turn. So this is my starting hand. And you can see I've got I've got three lands, which is good, and then a bunch of other cards. So um, I'm going to keep this. And this is kind of like your hand of cards down here at the bottom. So like I said, you can play one land. And then, which I'm going to do, I'm going to play this out. And then if and I don't have anything else I could play, so it just passes along. So you can see this person played a creature, and it is it is a one power and a two defense. So it's not super strong, but it's flying, and you can see it's floating. So you got to have something that's able to fly to do that. To so I'm going to play out another land, 
You just drag it and drop it. And now you can see I've got a bunch of cards highlighted. These means, hey, you can play these. This one costs one in red. I have two. I have one in red available. This costs red and green. I've got that available. This one is one of those split ones. And this is the one I'm going to play because, um, oops, before I do that, click on it really big over here. Well, let me move myself. I'm going to move myself over here. Um, damage can't be prevented this turn. Stomp deals two damage to any target. And since this guy can only take two damage, he's going to die. So that's the card I'm going to play. I'm going to play him out. I'm going to choose that two damage. And I'm going to target that right there. Boom. He's done. Um, now he is a special thing. I get to I get to use him later on. So that's why he's kind of over to the side. Now it's my turn again. They couldn't do anything. I can play a land. So I did that. And now I've got all these cards I can play. And I think the one I'm going to play out next is this guy right here. This guy says creatures you control cannot be countered. And non-token have a riot, which is like another extra special uh, thing. So I'm going to get this out first. And then that makes all of my creatures better. So I'm going to play that dude out. Boom. It's on the board now. Um, and then next turn, I'm going to start playing creatures. So a little 2-2. Two, two, and um, i got to see what I get. So I don't have any more lands. But I can play pretty much anything I want. And what I want to do is... Um, I want to play this dude out. I want to play this dude. I want to play this dude out. Boom. And what he does is he gets extra stuff now. So I'm going to give him that and I'm going to give him that. And now, now it says I can attack. You play cards, you attack, you play cards. And I'm going to attack and see what this person does. Oh, the computer. Not cool. Ugh. So what they did was they just returned the card to my hand and played out another creature. That's pretty phenomenal. All right, so now I've got once again I got all my choices, but I only got three that I can spend to play cards. So like I gotta like think very carefully about what I want to play. And I think so. I've got 18 life, right? I forgot to tell you. We started 20. I'm only down to 18, so I'm still sitting pretty good. And I think what I'm going to do is try and just play that again. I'm going to play it again. And see what happens. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try and attack again. And see what they do. Boom. So I got through. They did not block. You can use your creatures to block, but obviously it would have killed them. So I didn't do that. This guy sucks. So I'm getting banged up. I'm getting banged up. And I'm not getting any more land cards, which is making it really difficult. Now they got these big, these, like, three damage a turn is really killing me here. So I'm going to at least play this guy. And it's going to kill one of them. It's going to kill that guy. Um, so now, this one is 3-3. Three, three. If it blocks me, we both die. I'm going to do it. And they can either block me or not. And they're not. Because they're getting all this damage in every turn. We'll see how it goes. Oof. 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 So I'm about to be dead here. I got another land, so I can play a land. That's fantastic. But I don't have a whole lot of cards here. Um, I'm going to... Definitely play the Bone Crusher Giant. I'm going to deal two damage to one of these guys. And then I got two left. I'm going to use it to just kill another one. So I'm going to use this to target this. It's going to kill that guy. Can't do anything yet, but I can do something next turn. You can only use your cards once per turn. And uh, they had a little special spell that made mine do that. But they totally killed me. So much for that. Um, yeah. So that was a sample game. I didn't do so hot. Um, I realized trying to talk and do it at the same time is kind of difficult. Um, I'm also not very good at this game. <laughs> so let me play another. I'll play another one where I'll just like shut my mouth 
and um, see if uh, old Mr. L can get you guys a win. Uh, so I'm going to play against a real person, and I'm going to change my decks and um, I got this new deck here. Let's get them to this play. Um, now let's play Shrine. Like this one's this one's hard, but it's it's fun. So I'm going to do this and see how he. So this deck has it has what's called shrines, which are all these things that work together. And the more that you get out, the more powerful each one of them is. Um, so if you so if I can get them all out, I can crush it. And uh, but if I if I if they start beating me up before I get there, I'm totally in trouble. Like it's not a good it's not a good collection of cards, um, but it is kind of fun. So I think I'm going to play it, and I'm going to keep this. We're going to go. This dude out. Uh, I'm gonna take it. So when they're sideways like this, that's called tap. That means you can't use it. Um, when you attack with a creature, it taps itself. Um, some of the cards they have different effects, and they tap themselves, um, and they untap like that, and then they're good to go. Um, I don't have anything that costs two, so I'm just gonna play this guy out. Gives you cards, lets you do stuff. It's pretty good. Get that dude out there. It's my turn. My turn. Um, do I want to get to furry out? I want to get to furry out. So I'm going to activate this ability. I'm going to get a white. Where's a white? Get a white. It's my turn. I'm going to play my three. I'm going to draw a card. So this is, this is what they call a Planeswalker. He's like an extra magician. This is the whole thing is like your magician and these cards are like the spells you're casting. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw a card real fast. And um, discard. I'm going to discard this one. I don't need it. And he's going to try and do that. You go. Good call. Respect your elders. Do that. And then. Card. This card, card. Ooh. Boy, this guy. He's cool. This is a big old beast. He's he's got six power. Um, you can see he's got a whole bunch of tag on him. He's just he's tremendous. Your attacks unoffensive. So I'm going to pull that out. Should have done first. So this is held up because that means that person's allowed to do something. So they're thinking about it. Um, after that, I'm going to go. All right, and I'm gonna discard one. Discard one. Then. That sounds good. Um, ooh, oh yeah, I'm gonna put that out. That sounds good. And um, next to combat, I don't understand what's going on. I'm gonna damage from this. Okay. Yeah, thanks. End my turn. Not 
be unprepared. So they've got, they've got a whole bunch of these things out. What does it do? They draw wizards. It prevents all damage. That sucks. My students cool. are loyal and loyal. Two and all fine time. Alright, yeah, we'll do that. When pursuing do that, do that. Defy convention. It is my turn. My turn, I'm going to. Yep. Let me do that for you. So these are the. This is the shrines. This is the, the green shrine. I got like the, the multicolored shrine and the blue shrine and the black shrine. If I can start popping these bad boys out, I'll be in good shape. You can see I'm 23 to 18, and they're getting some good creatures, but I don't care about that. Come on, buddy. Papillon is thinking about it. You can see it's got this little timer on here, because so you only have like so long to make a decision. And after that, like you start, like you build up timeouts, um, but eventually it'll, it'll auto play you, or if you if you like disconnect, you auto lose. <laughs> So they've gone through two. So they're either thinking really hard about their strategy, or they went to the bathroom, or they disconnected. And sometimes they just go like, you know what, this isn't worth it. This is going to be a long one. I don't want to do this. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully Papillon doesn't just auto-quit. Oh, uh-oh. I think we're just going to auto-win this one. I'm okay with that. I'm going to choose black. I'm gonna play this guy out, shabam. I think that's all I can do. I can draw a card, discard a card, draw a card, discard a card. Sweet, I'm gonna discard this one. Next. No attacks. So I think, I think it's timed out. I think I'm not gonna get to play this. Oh no, oh no, yeah, that was the automatic. Um, so I think what's just gonna happen is, oh, they are they are hanging around. My bad, my bad. I'm gonna draw a card because if I can get this guy up to ten, it's like automatic win. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna discard this one of all cards, believe it or not. We are the future. So I'm looking at this shatter the sky clears everything off the board, which is pretty cool. Um, So, well, they're going to play all these little creatures out, and then I'm just going to destroy all the little creatures. Which is going to will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. Yep, yep. Do that, do that. Don't care. Do not care. But in ourselves. Block down. Block down. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to search my graveyard and pull out this blue card, put that down. I'm going to do that, yeah. Do that. So now that these shrines are going together, they start to build up. So I'm going to draw some more cards. I'm going to get some more action going here. Seriously? Alright. I'm going to take that action. I'm going to discard a card. I think I'm going to discard this one. Then I'm going to get some mana, which is what you use to pay for stuff. And then I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. Oops, play this out. Oh, did I just, did I just mess up? I think I just messed up. I didn't. I'm going to play this out. Blow up everything. Just draw me a card. Let's discard a card. Let's discard one of these. Um, and what's this going next? I don't care. 
in my turn. So now I'm getting set up. I got like two more shrines to get on the board, and then I'll be good to go. Um, draws a card that a player takes it. If it doesn't appear, oh, that's an interesting card. I haven't seen that around in a while. going to I get one shrine this little multicolored shrine that's gonna get like all the shrines together so that's which is really cool and I grab one more of those power myself up and then be like on the way to stomp town um, it works out really awesome so if I can just survive which I seem to be able to do um, then I should be pretty good I hope I forgot to use this Evolving Wilds. I'm just not very smart. So this, so what I just said, this Evolving Wilds, that is a that is a land that you can use to get other lands. So it doesn't, it's by itself, it doesn't do anything. So because I didn't use it, I can't use it right now. I'm kind of, like, I just kind of dropped the ball on that. But that's all right. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to um, resolve. I'm going to pay blue. Green. Let's do that. Let's get some cards going. I'm gonna decline the cards. I'm gonna choose black. I'm gonna play my sink and stone fangs. I'm going to draw a card. Um, and then I'm gonna discard a card. I might as well discard that. Resolve. Auto pay. And then I am uh, target creature or planeswalker. Oh, sweet. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to kill this guy. That. Bam. With my insight, kill that guy. Hits. That. Bam. I'm going to kill that guy. That. I am beaten. No one. Bam. Now we are cooking. <clears throat> so now I'm like totally set up. I just got word of all their little things. This guy, he's on nine right now. If he can get to ten, I get to take two extra turns. I get to turn, take all the turns in a row. Um, and then I totally crush this person. Um, but they've got a bunch of really cool cards. I'm not, I'm not kind of like resting on my laurels. This might go like south real hard, um, but we'll see. What I've got, so I've got this card in my hand that lets me that lets me kill everything, so that's pretty dope. Um, and they are not going to do anything, so I'm going to draw a card. Yeah. That sounds great. And then I'm just going to discard that card. Resolve that. I'm going to auto pay that. I think that y'all, I think I've won it. I think I may have won it. I think they kind of figured that out. You should definitely blast them. Oh, that's something you should do. It isn't. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to decline to do that. I will pay. Okay. Let's do that. Pow, 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 pow. I don't need cards. I don't need cards. Let's just get a bunch of mana for no good reason. Let's get a bunch for no good reason. And then I'm going to play this dude out.
don't even have to. I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna go take two turns. Thank you, sir. That's cool. I've never seen it do that before. Um, so let's see how let's see how the take two turns works because I've not um, seen that. Oh, it's oh, it's kind of like hidden behind my face. There's a little emblem behind um, where where my video. is. And I think maybe they just realized that they're getting the shot. Or they're just playing real slow. And they're like, man, what can I do? What can you do? There's nothing you can do, honestly. Turkey truck comes up. I don't think about that. I'm going to end the turn. But that starts my turn. So I'm going to go ahead and start my turn. Oh, good call, good call, good call. I'm gonna pass the end of the turn. However, I get to bring that guy right back. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he comes right back. I'm gonna resolve that. I'm gonna auto pay. And then we're gonna go to the Yeah, you're done. Oh, well, that was fun. So they had a good idea. This little, this black sanctum of stone fangs, that's the one that's been dealing damage to them. So they got, they were able to get rid of it. But I had this car, this sanctum, oh, that's an unfortunate place for it. Um, this sanctum of all, which allows me to bring it back every turn. So it was a good, good, good thought. Good thought. It was the thing that was going to keep them alive um, until it didn't. So yeah. Guys, this is so. This was this was a this was kind of a boring match. I gotta be honest with you. Like I didn't even enjoy playing it that much. Um, but that's the general. Um, that's what you do, and you and you're playing against actual live people. There is that one uh, computer bot setting you can have, but other than that, you are actually playing against real people. Like you level up. Like I just leveled up into platinum tier four. That's kind of cool. Um, and you get stuff out of this. Like um, they have like, in-game currencies. Of gold and uh, diamonds, gems, gold and gems. So I just got 750 gold, and I got these experience points. Um, so I, I don't have a lot, but because I use them, because like I use them to like buy stuff in the game, but I don't spend any money on it whatsoever. Like I just I just play the little stuff, and when I get enough, I go okay, cool. Um, but I, I really enjoy this. My wife and I play the card version of this game at home a lot, and then uh, when I found it on the computer, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, and um, I'll see you guys later.